okay so we move on to the last question now of the exercise and of the chapter that is uh, you are given three numbers the first number is 43.12345689 second number is 0 0.12012001200 dash 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 goes on and the third number is 43.12345689 and there's a bar on top of it and the question is we have to classify whether they are rational or not and if they are rational and of the form p by q what can you say about the prime factors of q okay so that's the question so let's do uh, the first part first so look at the first part 43.12345689 okay the numbers are terminating okay although there is a lot of digits here but it's not uh, extending beyond that it has terminated after nine decimal places so it's a terminating number okay so if it's a terminating number it has to be a rational number all terminating numbers are rational and if it is rational it will be in the form of p by q okay now second part is if it is rational and if it is in the form of p by q what can you say about the prime factors of q now in the previous question when we discussed about terminating numbers the rule was that if the denominator is made of factors of 2 or 5 or a combination of 2 and 5 then what happens that becomes a terminating number right so here if it is terminating now we are going reverse it's a terminating number so we can say that q has to be in the form of 2 to the bar m into 5 to the bar n where m and n are whole numbers okay so it could be 0 1 2 3 whatever the powers can be anything so q will be in the form of either 2s or 5s so if there is only 5s then the power of m will become 0 so that's why we have said that m and n could be whole numbers so if it is 0 then 2 to the power 0 is 1 and you will have only factors of 5 or if this is 0 then you will have only factors of 2 but you need to be having factors of 2 5 or 2 and 5 so answer will be q will be in the form of 2 to the power m into 5 to the power n where m and n are whole numbers okay so that's the first part it's a rational number and q will be in the form of 2 to the power m and 5 to the power n second part 0 0.12012001200 and there are three dots indicating that it's a non-terminating number and the numbers are not repeating 12012001200 there is no pattern here okay the number of zeros are increasing so what happens it's non-terminating and non-repeating repeating should be like this 0 0.12012001200 then it would have been a repeating number but this is not repeating okay this is non-repeating or non-recurring so this is a non-terminating non-repeating number therefore this is irrational and if it is irrational it cannot be expressed in the form of p by q so only the first part has to be answered here is it rational or not we don't have to tell anything about the denominator q because it cannot be expressed as a fraction then the last part 43.12345678 and there's a bar on top this is a non-terminating number because this keeps on happening in loops in finite number of times okay that's why there is a bar and therefore it's a non-terminating repeating or recurring number so what happens such type of numbers which are non-terminating and repeating are also rational so rational could either be terminating or it could be non-terminating repeating if it is non-terminating non-repeating then it is irrational okay so here it is non-terminating repeating that means this number is a rational number and therefore it can be expressed in the form of p by q now what can you say about q it is now non-terminating if it is terminating it is in the form of 2 to the power m and 5 to the power n so here since it's non-terminating you will write q is not in the form of okay q is not in the form of 2 to the power m and 5 to the power n where m and n are whole numbers have you understood this so here we'll write it is non-terminating repeating therefore it is a rational number and can be expressed in p by q however q will not be in the form of 2 to the power m and 5 to the power n so with this chapter 1 is complete uh, please practice all the questions and also go through all the solved examples the solved examples of ncrt are also very very important and tomorrow we'll be starting with chapter 2 polynomials. Thank you so much.